So we wake up really early around here. My child has actually been up since 4 a.m. Yeah, this is what my house looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a cup of coffee. Yes, you guys, I have a horrible sleeper. My little boy has been waking up this early, typically between 5 and 6 since he was born. And yeah, so there goes my creamer and we're going to go ahead and get started for the day. Did you say, did you say Fruit Loops or Apple Jacks, J.D.? I'm letting you off the hook today, J.D., but going forward or for the rest of this week, you cannot be waking up this early. I'm going to have to get back on schedule, even if Mommy has to go in there and lay with you, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> So I'm, I'm off by an hour because my child woke up at 4 a.m. I already washed my face. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm tired. My, my shoulder all the way down here is aching. I forgot to put the serum on, it's okay. So now I am reheating my coffee for the second or third time. So yeah, you guys, this morning was a bit of a challenge and it's not like this all the time. I'm also gonna go ahead and check my uh, to-do list on my planner, looking at a flyer from a little boy's school, just to ensure that I'm up to date on everything. I typically iron his clothes, but I'm not in the mood this morning, clearly. So I'm just gonna spray it down with some starch, pop it in the dryer, and it should be good in about 10 or 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna get started on some work. Dad. Trash. Oh, don't eat all these bones. Stop that shop they get in my day for that day. They work nice. They guarantee a wealthy and it's No, good. not not it's too early, baby. Oh. oh put my earphones down. Put my earphones down. Put them down. I did. You know what? So yeah. now now you have wasted water all over here. Oh my gosh. Why would you do that? Why would you pour water all over there? You don't know? You will be punished. I will take that tablet away. Tablet? And the phone. What? Now that I think about it. I'm not watching too much TV. Yes, you are. Move over here, baby, so I can do your hair. This is new. How does that smell? Smells good? Does it smell good? Let's see how it works on your hair before mommy uses it on her hair. I ain't about to be upset with my hair. <laughs> leave that alone, JB. Move your hand. Move your hand. Oh, something did not mesh well. That leave-in does not do well with, look at that, you see all that white stuff? Alrighty, let's see you. All right, now you need to go in there and put your shoes on. So I'm going to check my work email real quick before I drop my little boy off. Now I can also access my work email and the system I work in directly from my cell phone which is very convenient. Even with that being said, I don't like to be away from my desk quote unquote for more than an hour at a time. So we're going to go ahead and head out. Let's not stay home. Come on sweetheart. Yeah, well, I don't want to work, but that's not how life is. All right, come on, let's go. So cute. I don't want to go to school. I understand. I really do. 
I am sympathetic to you. How about this? How about I get you get you some McDonald's after school, okay? Pancakes with some but well, we can only have syrup here, okay? Syrup there. It's less than nine, it's nine o'clock. I like to do things in less than an hour. I'm gonna go home, put up these groceries, um, work for a couple of hours straight through because I have some things to come in through my phone. I like to listen to my ratchet music when my little boy is not in the car. <laughs> um, put up these groceries. Uh, like I said, do some work, eat me some breakfast. I am intermittent fasting. I'm trying to hold off until 10, 10 o'clock for girl. When you've been up since four, yeah. I may go ahead and eat around 9.30 or so. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and um, like I said, go home, put up these groceries. I like to start cooking my husband's dinner, excuse me, lunch last dinner around 10 or so. I also eat that as my dinner and he, I will make enough for two days, all right? Um, like I said, push out about three hours of work, take a break, um, and on my lunch hour, I should say, actually eat. But while I'm while I'm on my break, I'm going to go through my planner, uh, make a phone call, uh, make some doctor's appointments I have to make, and review my child's homeschool and curriculum because homeschool curriculum, what is that? What the hell is that? Child. Uh, review my child's homeschool curriculum because we have not been on schedule so I need to totally revamp it scale it down some um, and yeah and just it's already there just move some things around um, by the way I will be linking in the cards other videos as far as my morning routine goes nighttime routine um, do I have even have a nighttime routine? <laughs> Uh, my first uh, work from home as a mom video and things have changed since last year was the first year uh, my child started kindergarten so the schedule for me has changed um, I even have a video on tips on uh, for working from home and I've been working from home now is going on now will be this year will be seven years and I think that people automatically think or assume that oh you get to work from home that's great I will say last year was a challenge and it, it does become a challenge if you are a mom, can be a challenge if you're a mom to small children. I mean, if he was in high school or even grade school, it would be, I think it would be a little easier. Um, his The schedule changed one, I'm sorry, because of he started kindergarten and he's not in school as long. Before when he was in preschool, I was able to drop him off at eight. I didn't have to pick him up till five o'clock. Now I literally, I drop him off at 7.30. I have to be up there by 2.30 for pickup by three. So guys, um, my company, since I I made the first video, excuse me, my company has undergone, undergone some changes. And so I found myself having to say no to the now a lot. But let me back up. I have a standing meeting on my schedule that starts at 7 a.m. That's when I'm getting my child ready for school for drop off at 7.30. So unfortunately, I can't make that meeting. I know my coworker was sent an invite it started at 5 30 and some people have 5 30 in the morning some people have had to jump on calls at 3 a.m in the morning <sighs> even though sometimes i do work between 5 30 and 6 a.m starting time definitely by 5 30 i'm on my laptop i cannot be on a call at 5 30 due to my household people are still asleep but this is one thing i do want to say because i had to unfortunately take a family medical leave two years ago because my job was it got so overwhelming it was ridiculously overwhelming at this point um it was when i was getting it was the year i was getting married and my best friend was getting married by the way i had just also moved three months prior to that so i was still getting adjusted um planning a wedding and i was hit with a large project while I was simultaneously doing another, it, I wouldn't say the other pro, the other one wasn't necessarily a project. It was something that we typically do on a yearly basis. But at the time, I was the only person doing it. Days, a couple of weeks off. I think I took off like, I think I took off at least two weeks. I took off for two weeks straight through. So from that, I learned that I need to put myself first, which is why I started having a me time in the morning, um, or or later on when my child goes to sleep. 
and I take off days. Now the company I work for, I was grandfathered into a unlimited PTO. Yes. <laughs> so I have unlimited time off. Let me explain. I have unlimited paid time off is what PTO stands for. I get unlimited vacation days. Oftentimes people who work from home feel like they don't need to take off because they're at home. They can be, their, their schedule is flexible. However, we need to take the time off. My coworker and I were just discussing this. And we're not just, we've been discussing this off and on for a year that how it's important that we take time off because it's really hard to break away also when you work from home. I've learned that, you know, those answering emails at 8 p.m., that's going to be outside that that's not going to be the norm okay i don't want to set the expectation that i now i'm going to answer emails after 5 p.m so even though i don't have a set set schedule said set schedule excuse me um there are certain things that i won't do <clears throat> i won't attend meetings at 5 a.m in the morning now again i have to remain flexible because there may be some times where i have to work on the weekend to get something done um, but I can't allow that to be the norm because I'm going to get burned out um, and it's not fun. Okay. And that also goes for your family. Like I have to remind my husband still today that don't mess with me. <laughs> you can ask me questions. Like, you know, I shouldn't say that. Just be respectful that just because you see me and I'm here, it doesn't mean that I have time to go to Home Depot with you. Now, unless you're going to buy me a Kit Kat or something. Look, you know what I mean? Like, just be respectful of my time. I don't come up to your job and be like, oh, hey, you want to look at this, these uh, paint swatches? You know what I mean? He'll do that sometimes. Like, what do you think about this tile? And my mind is focused. I'm a very focused person. So I can get into work. And I am one of those type of people that can work three or four hours straight, no interruptions in my zone. That's another thing. I like to get my phone. I'll put my earphones in and I'll binge watch an entire season of a show and block people out. Um, all right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start working and go through a good three hours, like I said, and then I'll break for lunch to cook. Um, and then I'll work again straight through and then break for two hours to go pick up my little boy. And then I'll come back and start working some more. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, another thing is that you want to ensure that you are communicating with the people who need to know on a need to know basis. Like I'm very close with one of my coworkers and I let her know when I'm leaving to do something. Um, and she'll, and vice versa, she'll let me know. Even if it's something as simple, she's like, I'm gonna go run to the store. I'm like, cool. So that way, if something comes in into the inbox that we're both monitoring, we have each other back. And it's someone that I can trust. This is corporate America. Not everyone has your best interest at heart. It is a doggy dog work. Like seriously, she's one of the only only few people that I sincerely trust her and another pe another person I trust and that is it back to work gonna work for another hour before I gotta go pick up my kid from daycare always have my cell on me to check work email come right back here get him situated continue to work till around 4 35 um, if nothing comes in by 3 I'll just monitor my email and yeah so I try to do as much as possible the day before, the evening before. So here I am getting JB's school uniform together for the next day. I also get his lunch together um, later on in the evening, which you'll see in clips when I pick him up from school. Here I am doing a quick workout. Um, I typically go to the gym, but I've been off. I've been off for about a week or so. Can I help you? Hi, I'm gonna get a medium sweet tea at McDonald's getting JB some food. JB can eat all that. Well, not my sweet tea. He ain't getting my sweet tea, girl. After this, I have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna stop by Albertsons to see what hair products they have. Yeah. Syrup either. 
Hi, um, I need to make an appointment as soon as possible for my son. Oh, a piece of a toy and it kind of partially went in his foot and his foot has been swollen up for a few days. And he, he can't. Yeah. He's not mm -hmm. Bye. I'm gonna pack you some um, strawberries or blackberries, you hear me, or apple. Have a doctor's appointment first thing in the morning. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm -hmm. And they draw it. And they draw it. Oh my gosh. Okay, baby. So now I'm back in my office because as I was um, dropping off, excuse me, picking up my son, I received two two emails coming in that I need to take care of uh, today for a training that starts tomorrow. It is 4 p.m. We've been home technically since three, but as you guys could see, I had to ensure that he got, you know, he got fed, had his dinner slash dinner, because it's early, it's, it was three o'clock technically. Um, I had to make a doctor's appointment, so yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take the time to vacuum. I don't have a set cleaning schedule. If something needs to be done, I just go ahead and clean it. You know, I save some of the major stuff for Fridays, but really, it is what it is. You know, I just clean as I go, as I stated. Now, you guys, it's been a it's been a crazy two or three days for us. JB accidentally stepped on a Hot Wheel part, and the metal part went in his foot, so he injured his foot. If you heard me earlier in the um, in this video, I had to make an appointment with his pediatrician because his foot has gotten worse. So I knew he would be tired. So he's here he is napping. I take the time while he's napping to do something for myself. Um, so I went ahead and did a facial, took a bath. I prefer to take my baths in the um, later on the day due, due to our schedule. So yeah, this is what works for us. I feel so good. My skin even looks better after a shower. I like to take my showers. I just, I don't know, maybe it's a, college thing um taking showers at night i still do it just from college daytime unless i absolutely um need to shower to wake me up in the morning then i'll take it in the morning but it's hard to do that because my husband is asleep and i'm trying to get jb ready and then by the time i get home it just for my schedule it works better to take my shower and stuff in the afternoon so i took an early shower and now i'm gonna eat and show you guys what i'm eating tonight so i blackened me some salmon i have some of that brown rice with the yams and this cabbage and i poured me some wine so yes i'm gonna go ahead and sit down eat my dinner in silence while my child is asleep and i'm gonna watch me some dexter uh, while he's asleep too and i'm gonna wake him up so it is towards the evening around 8 p.m and i'm having jb to soak his foot in a salt water solution and he's doing much better you guys we had a doctor's appointment the next morning and he's doing quite well um i just really wanted to show you guys this video to let you know that not everything is roses and butterflies and i say this often in my vlogs this is real life uh, yes i absolutely love sometimes working from home um i appreciate that's a better word i appreciate being able to spend time with my child and my husband to be quite frankly but it can be a lot um but i try not to allow things to you know that happen in the morning to dictate the rest of the day or the week because honestly this was still a good day even with the stuff that happened earlier in the morning um it can be a lot like i said uh, my husband works second shift in the hospital so i am doing most of this by myself yes <laughs> But it is what it is, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Take care. Bye.